Well, this has got to be a YouTube first. This is going to be the very first tree top, tree house knife review. You guys have given me no peace about uh, the neck knife uh, that I wore in the last video. And, and I want to uh, share that with you on this video. Uh, if you would have asked me a week ago or two days ago before I received it, uh, if I would have ever, ever considered wearing or using a neck knife, I would have thought you were insane. I thought they were gimmicky. I thought that they were silly. Uh, I just thought it was just something that I had absolutely no interest in. Uh, many of you have followed along my lamenting of losing my, my Benchmade knife and, and the video that I put up about not, not make, not, I'm not going to buy those expensive knives anymore because I've lost seven of them. Uh, have given me a lot of recommendations, a lot of great recommendations. I've even had uh, two knives came in today <laughs> that, uh, that people say that uh, is the perfect EDC knife. And this one here, I might have to agree with. This one here, I'm still fig trying to figure out what it is. I'm off topic here. The neck knife. Uh, I want to share. I want to talk about that a little bit. Uh, what it's been like for me to use it for the last couple days. Uh, my take on it. Who makes it? Where I got it, and uh, my impression. So let's back up a little bit. So it's been some months ago, um, but a subscriber of mine by the name of Patrick uh, contacted me. It's been it's been several months ago, and he said he wanted me to take a couple a look at some knives that he was building. Asked me what my favorite was, and there was a list and an email. I think there was a picture of about five knives or so, and I looked at them and, and I t and I picked the ones that I liked. I I just thought he was looking for some feedback. Um, he's a was an up and coming knife maker, a custom knife maker, and wanted to kind of get some impressions from that. And so I picked one, and then the next email was or the picked the ones that I liked in the order, and the and the next uh, email that he sent. He told me that uh, the one I chose uh, would be, he would be sending it to me. And that is this knife right here. MT Knives, a prototype of his. It has um, since become one of my favorite, favorite knives. So many reasons. Uh, just the attention to detail, the fact that it was handmade, so well finished. Little things like the red liners between the beautiful wood and a tapered tang. I mean, who does that? You know how hard, difficult that is? And the thing about it, it is it's just perfect. Some people just know how to do things right. And Patrick from Empty Knives is one of those guys. Everything I pick up from him, I just really like. It's not all, he doesn't always follow uh, traditional knife making or traditional designs. He goes out on different things like that tapered handle and the idea that a bushcrafting knife always has to be so big and bulky I think this flies in the face of that. It's just so much more, well, uh, it, the video is not about this knife, but what I'm saying is that Patrick does a nice job and look at the handmade sheath and this is a beautiful thing. This is exceedingly difficult to make something like this. If you, if you don't think so, go try to do it yourself. It, it is absolutely a work of art. So this has been uh, something that's been really uh, a treasure to me. Uh, Patrick, uh, uh, what was it, yesterday? Yeah, came in the mail. I, I didn't know he was sending this. I didn't even know that he made this. It just came in a box and I opened it and I, I saw his logo on the front, MT Knives. And I thought, oh, Patrick is, what is this? It's a neck knife. And I thought, oh, well, that's kind of cool. Um, but would I really actually use that? So I just, I put it on my neck and just went back to work. Stuck it in my shirt and thought, well, I'll just wear it today. It's kind of a, kind of a novelty, kind of a cool thing. What I found is that I really like it. Many reasons. It's so light and so thin that I didn't know it was there. I thought that it might really bother me having it around my neck, but I didn't know it was there until I needed it. And I think for me, where it's really shine, it really come in handy is working on the tree house because I can't get access to my pockets because I've got a tool belt on. I've got a tool belt on, I've got a big winter coat, it's really cold out, and to try to work through that and fish out my knife when I need to sharpen my pencil or I needed to cut a piece of rope, I kept, I, I, it just it kept dawning, dawning, dawned on me, we'll use the neck knife. I reached in my shirt, I pulled it out one-handed, put it back in, and it was there, and I thought, you know what, this, is, this really has a place. I don't know that I would wear this in the summertime if I was just wearing a t-shirt, but in the wintertime, uh, I, I will wear it all the time. 
I wouldn't necessarily have this, I don't think, as my primary knife, but I really like it. Um, again, I wore it and used it all day today. I sharpened my pencils again. I cut rope. It was always there when I couldn't get it my other knife. So it's absolutely beautiful. The sheath uh, is beautifully made. Everything about it, it's just gorgeous. I should probably let you look at it here. The soft edges, the stone wash. I mean, it's just a beautiful... That's handmade, guys. Handmade custom knife. Could you make one of those? Man, I couldn't. So I wanted to share that with you because I was getting no peace. I haven't received... I don't remember receiving so many uh, questions in the comments about a particular item as I have with this. Uh, inquiries about this. Um, I, I, I'm a fan. I really like it. Uh, the way it fits my hand. I think it is a, absolutely a near-perfect blade shape. That just that classic shape and the and the nice size it locks in the hand well, um, just love it, Patrick. You have really done a nice job with that. I really it's a it's a nice gift. I would say, you know, I would say would I recommend a knife like this? Yeah, um, I I would recommend, and I'll be wearing it. I'll probably wear it most of the time. I definitely wear it through the winter time. Um, I just need to use it more. You know, I need to spend more time with it, but uh, I wanted to kind of put this out there and share that with you and, and help Patrick. He's a, uh, a family man and he is following his dream um, at, at becoming a custom knife maker and he really is talented. He's really doing some nice work. You probably remember him. I mentioned Patrick, uh, his uh, sharpening series, Beyond Razor Sharp. I think that's what it is. I'll put a link to his website right down below here. Uh, but he will, he has a video series and I think he's got downloads as well. It teaches you how to sharpen anything, uh, any, anything, scissors, tools, uh, knives. Um, and I'll tell you, Patrick, this thing was, is one of the sharpest in knives I've ever received from anyone. It's, it's frighteningly sharp, but, uh, uh ve very nice. Thank you. I really appreciate it. I really like it. I think it's a wonderful wonderful knife. Something that's always been my pleasure to do to, with the channel is to showcase um, guys that are producing things of super high quality, starting small businesses, following their dreams. Patrick from Empty Knives is a perfect example. If you want to have something, a, a, a knife that's a work of art, something that's special that you can hand down to your children, something that he'll stand behind and the best customer service you could possibly ever know, you can make an investment in something like that. And, and he is a, he's a young guy, family guy, and, and he's following his dreams and starting this company, and I think he's very gifted. I think he's a talented craftsman, and I think he's an artist. Uh, and he's a wonderful knife manufacturer. I have one more video I'm gonna make shortly after this one. You can go watch. I'll put a link in the end card. And it is another subscriber and friend is producing what I would consider to be the finest leather gun belts that you will ever own. And I know that you will never would you not be proud to have that? that Isn't that gorgeous? Day day. Thing speaks for itself, doesn't it? All right.